I'm now going to show you how to complete the um, MSU Midstream Year Ensemble for your Obsky exam. Um, so as with all the stations, before I approach my patient, I'm going to decontaminate my hands using hand gel. Fingers interlace, back of hands with fingers interlace, fingernails, thumbs, centre of the palms and wrists. Um, before I approach my patient, I'm also going to pick up this urine sample pot. Um, before I would take this, I would check the expiry date and that it's intact um, with the packaging. Obviously this has been used, but for now we're just going to pretend. So we would check the expiry date and the pack is intact, so it expires 2022. I'm now going to go to my patient um, and explain the procedure. Before I approach, I'm going to check the environment is safe with no hazards. Um, assuming I've already met the patient, introduce myself and ID'd her you'll have a female patient for your exam. Hello Maria. Hello. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Okay, so what we need to do, um, I've come to speak to you because we need to take a urine sample from you. Okay. Um, the reason why we need to do this is just check for any abnormalities, like any infections or anything like that. Okay, well, that's fine. Okay. So I'll give you this pot to use to pass urine and I'll just explain to you what you need to do. Okay. So if you go to the bathroom and you need to have a good wash down below, so you need to part your labia and clean your meatus from front to back with soap and water and then rinse yourself off. After that you need to go to the toilet and pass the first part of urine into the toilet, the second part I need you to catch in this pot and the third part, the last part you can pass normally into the toilet. So what essentially I need is the middle part of your urine because this is called a midstream urine sample. Okay, yes, I understand, thank okay. you. Okay, and if you just leave the pot in the bathroom, I'll come and collect it later on. Okay, lovely. Okay, you happy with that? Yes, that's fine. You don't need anything before I go? No, I'm happy, thank you. Okay, so um, in your exam, you already have a sample of urine provided for you, so if, assuming this is my sample, I would now proceed to check it. So first I'm going to put on my apron. And my non-sterile gloves. Um, I'm going to check I've got all my equipment before I start. So I've got these multi-sticks, um, urine dipsticks which expire 2021. I've got my urine sample obviously. I've got my fob watch to check the time and I've got my paperwork and a pen and also a little tray to pop um, anything in that I need to. So again on the box here I've check, checked inside the clean intact safe to use and I've checked the expiry date. I'm just going to place my urine here so it's a bit easier. I'll do it carefully. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, fully submerge the stick um, covering all the areas um, with the markings on for less than a second and then I'm going to check the results. So after 30 seconds, I will check the glucose. After 40 seconds, I'll check the ketones. 45 seconds, specific gravity. 60 seconds, blood, pH, protein, and nitrate. And one to two minutes for the leukocytes. Um, after I've done that, I'm then going to record my results. So what I would recommend to you um, in the exam is to use your clock and to make sure that either you're at 12 o'clock or at half past before you start your time just because it makes it a bit easier for you. So I'm just going to wait a second until that gets to 12 with my second hand and assuming this is my uh, dipstick. So dipping for less than a second I'm now going to wait for 30 seconds, so until the second hand reaches half past, and then I'm going to check my results. Ok, 
glucose. So now it's 30 seconds. I can see it's positive of glucose, and that's plus, plus, plus. Um, now at 40 seconds, I'm checking my ketones, which is negative. 45 seconds, I'm checking for the specific gravity, which is negative. 60 seconds, I'm checking for the blood. So I'm just going to wait for 60 seconds now. Now it's reached 60 seconds, I'm checking blood, which is negative. pH, which is 5, which is normal. Protein, which is negative. Nitrate, which is negative. And seeing as it's after one minute, I can check the leukocytes, which again is negative. Now I'm going to place my stick down and record my results. I'm going to leave it in my tray here, just in case I forget any of the results. And I'm going to leave that out to help me. I'm just going to remove one of my gloves carefully into the um, yellow clinical waste. So I'm just going to fill out my chart now. So glucose is plus, plus, plus. Ketones negative, specific gravity negative, blood negative, pH negative, protein negative, nitrate negative and leukocytes negative. I would now dispose of my stick in the yellow clinical waste bin and I would also dispose of my um, urine sample if I was on the ward in the sluice. I just mentioned that in the exam, they'll ask you to keep it for the next person. Taking off my apron and gloves into a ball. Now I'm going to decontaminate my hands again with the hand gel. I'm just going to fill up my paperwork now with my patient's details. Okay, and I'm now going to go back and discuss the results with my patient. So hello Maria. Hello. Um, so I've done your urine test, um, everything's normal, I've just noticed you've got some glucose in your urine, what that means is it's a bit of sugar in your urine. Okay. Are you diabetic at all? Yes, I'm on insulin. Okay, so um, that probably indicates that your blood sugar's a little bit high, so what I'll do in a minute is I'll check that and also I'll refer it to the doctor and just to see if you need any further treatment. Okay, thank you. Okay. Um, do you have any questions for me or anything at all? No, that's fine. Okay. You comfortable? Yes, yes I am. So I'll leave you with the bell and just give me a ring if you need anything. Okay. Um, so for this part of your exam, you will be expected to discuss the results to the patients. So it's good to know what actions you would take if you're um, positive for any of these sections on the test. Okay. And I will finish my station now by decontaminating my hands.